So next up, podcast listeners, we have Go Woke or Go Broke. Uh, and guess what? The CEO of Salesforce is back. Oh, God, this guy is such a tool. So there's an uproar over Texas's near total abortion ban, which has led big tech firms and some local governments, including Connecticut and the city of Chicago, to offer sanctuary to workers who want to change. But it may take more than values to woo residents away. Well, let's tell you what the CEO, of course, of Salesforce, Salesforce decided to do. He put, he put, and his name is by, by the way, Mark Benioff. He said, if you want to move, we'll help you exit Texas. It's your choice. And he puts a big heart there. So he's responding to people because some people are out in Texas and they're tweeting and they're saying they're against the abortion law restrictions in Texas. And so the CEO of Salesforce is like, well, you know, we're going to take care of you if you just come back here. And, and he's not even saying Salesforce employees. So here's the article. Salesforce CEO Mark Benoff said the company will help employees move out of Texas if they so choose after the state's Republican governor signed a strict ban on abortions. He, quote, Ohana, if you want to move, we'll help you exit Texas, Benoff tweeted Friday, sharing a link to a CNBC article about the company's decision. Ohana is a Hawaiian word that encompasses blood and accepted family. Okay. The new law bans abortions as early as six weeks of pregnancy in Texas, becoming the nation's most restrictive measure on abortions. The law also allows civilians to sue anyone who helps someone get or performs an abortion for up to $10,000. In a Slack message last week, Salesforce told employees, these are incredibly personal issues that directly impact many of us, especially women, according to CNBC, which obtained a copy of the memo. We recognize and respect that we all have deeply held and different perspectives. As a company, we stand with all our women at Salesforce and everywhere. And this is this is Mark Benoff, the Salesforce CEO. I mean, he's running this huge company and he's constantly opining in politics and getting involved in it. And it's like, just shut up and stay out of it and run your company and let your employees make their own decisions. I'm sure many of your employees if not most, are working remotely anyway, since we told you at the very beginning of this podcast that this podcast is about being able to live anywhere you want and work remotely, those employees aren't forced to work in Texas. But by the way, he doesn't want them to stay in the red state. He wants them to move back to the blue state. <laughs> now, why do you think they moved to the red state to begin with? Because the quality of life is better. Because it truly is freer. So Salesforce, which owns Slack, is a software company that creates platforms for other businesses, helping them manage customers and data. The San Francisco-based company has office locations around the United States, including in New York, Atlanta, Chicago, and Dallas. CBS News has reached out to Salesforce for further information and is awaiting a response. It was not immediately clear whether any employees had requested to move, <laughs> but it didn't stop, of course, the CEO of Salesforce from reaching out to his employees and to other employees and other people that live in Texas and saying, oh my gosh, you got to move. You got to move. So in Cal Matters magazine, it says, a pitch, a pitch to Texans. Mark Benioff, CEO of San Francisco-based software giant Salesforce, tweeted on Friday his employees, about 1,000 in Dallas, as their, technic, as their technical reported, that if you want to move, we'll help you exit Texas. It's your choice. So as you can imagine, in this go woke or go broke, what we have here is something that's very different. It's a CEO that sees that he has employees in fast growing red states, and he's trying to move them to the blue states, back to them. And he doesn't get the fact that so far, none of them want to move back because they don't feel threatened, probably in part because in a federal system, as we've said to you folks out there in podcast land, you can still live in Texas and you can go to another state. And if another state has the kind of abortion laws that you want, then you can go to that other state. It's the beautiful thing. But the libs, man, the progressives, they want every state to be the same. That's not allowed. They, they, they want everything to be the same. They don't want you to have choices. 
because they're Stalinists. 